during the Cold War, the uh, arrangement was such that uh, uh, the United States would provide Yasi with uh, a director, and uh, uh, the Soviet Union, uh, the council chairman. And when uh, this arrangement broke up, the Cold War ended, uh, it was clear that uh, this arrangement could not go on anymore. Uh, we had the uh, uh, impression the United States would say, well, the council, uh, uh, the uh, uh, director of YASA should be the best qualified as long as he's from the United States. <laughs> it was a little bit <laughs> like that. But, uh, and as a matter of fact, continue, continued for some time. And, uh, but uh, it was obviously uh, that the uh, Soviet Union would relinquish this, its position uh, as uh, the council chairman, and who would be the next council chairman? And I think they thought that Austria would be a good candidate, being a neutral country and uh, being the host country. And since I took over, uh, it, I think it was very soon that I became, I was anyway the first council chairman after the Russians. After I relinquished this position as a council chairman uh, under some uh, successes, I became even deputy director of YASA. I was chairman of the finance committee and uh, so anyway, I was Mädchen für alles, you know, <laughs> for, 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 what is it, 18, 18 years till my successor now. Uh, I think one of the most successful uh, arrangements YASA has instituted is this Young Scientists Summer Program, YSSP. Uh, this is indeed, and I was very much uh, uh, for it, supported it, and we have every year about uh, 50 young scientists from, I think, usually 25 to 30 countries coming for three months to Yasa and working together with scientists here, and usually getting one publication. And also, the, the, the important thing is this interconnection, you know. They, uh, it, it, they're establishing a network, and that's for young scientists from different countries, you know, so many different countries, I think, very important. Uh, South Africa suggested it would uh, since uh, when, when, they, when we have winter, they have summer. They start the Young Scientist Summer Program in South Africa for the Southern Hemisphere. And I was there when uh, uh, this idea was, uh, came to, uh, to fruition, I would say. And, uh, was sort of uh, co-founder of this uh, Young Scientist Summer Program in uh, South Africa. About this North-South yeah. cooperation, is that more of the focus now that the East-West cooperation... Exactly. We, 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 we uh, uh, deliberately said we will start South, uh, as, uh, as South North-South, and forget, not really forget, but get away from the east-west confrontation. 
I mean, it was really a cooperation. It was uh, during Cold War. Uh, uh, Yaza was one of the very, very few places where uh, Soviet Union and its allies and U.S. with its allies continued to work together on a scientific basis. And, uh, you know, that was not easy at that time. And this was actually uh, for Yasa a role and it fulfilled the role, I would say. I'm very glad uh, that Austria is the host country. Uh, it was not considered to begin with. You, you know it's... I was reading about that it could have been um, France, could have been uh, Paris. Ah, France, yes. But here we had an objection at that time from Soviet Russia because we should move in where uh, <laughs> NATO <laughs> moved out, you know. And that was not quite <laughs> to the liking <laughs> of the Russians then. But anyway... Was that the deciding factor? to come to Vienna rather than... Exactly, yes. That, that it, was, it was a neutral country. It was a neutral country. Arne Janelev, he was then director. He's still my, one of my very best friends. And uh, on this Thursday, I will have lunch with him. So ah. it, this, this was actually a meeting that we continued. And I remember, and this, this is a story, when he was a director, I was deputy director, and we went to Bucharest, Romania, uh, and uh, we went to a, a, a restaurant and we saw um, some guys, well, I don't know, uh, they acted a bit funny and then we found out that they wanted to uh, arrange a meeting us with girls, you know. But, and we were not in the mood. And uh, so they came uh, and I said, uh, and I, Arne was not really that my close friend yet. I just put my arm around Arne the, and I said, you know, we are not interested in girls. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Did the girls go? Yes, we had the, the, that was the best, the best way out of it, you know. And Annie is still telling these stories. <laughs>